Hello everyone. My name is Ramin Abdal. I'm a PhD student in the Visual Computing Center at Gauss. I will present our paper, Clip to StyleGAN, Unsupervised Extraction of StyleGAN Edit Directions. It is a joint project with Gauss, Adobe Research, UCL, and Miami University. First, let us look at some semantic properties that the state-of-the-art GANs like StyleGAN hold. There are many semantic properties of GANs, especially StyleGAN. StyleGAN has been used to perform various tasks like image morphing, image super resolution, and image editing. The high quality results achieved on such downstream tasks using GANs have been attributed to several design choices and architectures and availability of high quality datasets like human faces. StyleGAN has emerged as a state of the art GAN network. It has a mapping network which maps a Gaussian latent variable Z to an intermediate latent space called the W space, which holds exceptional editing properties. Although the generation quality of such a setup is quite high, it is difficult to control the generation and find the relevant directions that produce meaningful edits. On the other hand, CLIP is a modern visual linguistic architecture that is trained on internet scale data. More specifically, it is trained under contrastive training setup where the encodings from the text and the image encoders are used to match the image and the text which are paired. And at the same time, it is encouraged for the networks to differentiate between the dissimilar pairs. Finally, after the training, this setup is used to perform zero shot classification where we can compute the scores of the labels given an image. This architecture opens avenues of finding important directions and modes given a set of original or GAN generated datasets. An associated challenge here is to label an arbitrary set of images without the given label priors. The question we focus on is how do we combine the GAN and the clip latent spaces to find important directions that can lead to some interesting edits in the GAN latent space. It is possible to do that. Here is the pipeline of our clip to style GAN method which is able to extract important label directions from a data set or a trained GAN latent space. Here we solve two problems, annotations for edit directions and knowing which directions are supported by the edit space. First, dominant image embedding is used to encode clip image features and performing methods like PCA in order to extract important directions. Second, clip-based unsupervised labeling and refining is used to determine the labels of the direction using the clip text encoder. Then these directions are disentangled using these labels. Third, the samples from these directions are used to create a data set to train a classifier, in this case SVM, to transfer the direction to the style GAN space for editing applications. To determine the labels from a set of images produced by using a given principal direction, our aim is to minimize the cosine similarity between the image encodings and the text encoding. We define a variable Z, which combines the embeddings learned by clip text encoder as shown in the red box. This is the variable we optimize for such that the output of the text encoder matches the output of the image encoder. Before feeding it to the text encoder, the output of this embedding are added with prefix and passed to the text encoder, which gives a proposal text encoding. The loss is then backpropagated along with some regularization to ensure that the Z vector learned is sparse. Finally, after the backpropagation steps, we select top K indices from the embedding space E of the clip vector, which is close to the learned embedding given by E transpose sigma Z. Here, sigma is a sigmoid function. These text encodings then form a set of attributes which can be used to further disentangle the direction. Here are some labels predicted by the method given a set of images. As you can see, the directions can be entangled. For example, kids and smile or women and smile are the labels of the datasets produced. To disentangle them, we minimize the given loss function to obtain the disentangled directions. This loss function is optimized to ensure that the resulting label scores of the direction are maximized for one class. For example, we want a vector that would only represent kids' direction and minimize the smile property. In the first term, u hat is the original direction, b is a matrix of disentangled vectors, which we want to optimize. Here, 
W are the confidence scores predicted by the text encoder before the direction is disentangled. In the second term, we make sure that the disentangled directions are orthogonal. In the third term, T is the matrix of text encodings of the labels, and we aim to make our predicted vectors in B parallel to these vectors. So the whole objective would try to produce disentangled orthogonal directions given an entangled direction in the clip space. Now we show some results of the extracted directions and corresponding edits achieved by our clip to start and method. Here are some results on the FFHQ and Elson Cars dataset. The first image shows a source image and the projection of that image in the StyleGAN2 latent space. The other columns show the edits performed on these images using the extracted directions. We also show more edits involving cars in the next figure. Here we can edit the color of the cars and change the model. Here are some more results on cars. Notice an interesting edit of reconstructing car from scrap. Here we show some other edits as well. To show that the unsupervised labeling method is robust across different data sets, we show some extracted directions and the predicted labels using met faces, AFHQ cats and dogs dataset. Notice some interesting directions. For example, in the cats dataset, our method is able to differentiate between the stray and the wild cats. In met faces dataset, notice that the algorithm predicts the word met museum in one of the direction, showing the encoding capabilities of CLIP. For the dog dataset, also notice the diversity of the edit directions, which have been extracted by our framework. For more results, refer to the supplementary materials. Now we show some quantitative results on faces. First, in order to determine if the output directions from the refining step lead to disentangled direction, we show in the first table the clip zero shot classification scores for the beard plus glass and kids plus smile before and after the disentangling step. The results show that the directions are in fact disentangled from the original entangled vector. Here, A plus B represents entangled direction. A is the first disentangled direction. B is the second disentangled direction. And S represent the clip zero shot scores. Notice the scores before and after the disentanglement step. For example, Beard's score changed from 0.7 to 1. In order to evaluate if the directions are successfully projected from the clip image space to the StyleGAN W plus space, we use the clip text encoder scores to classify images that are the result of applying an edit in the W plus space. Notice that the scores of the clip vectors of the original extract direction and our edits after projecting into the style can latent space are similar to each other. This shows that the direction and the corresponding labels were successfully transferred from the clip latent space to the style can W plus space. We compare these edits to GAN space based editing. This table represents top five user generated words for the predicted edit directions sorted by frequency. Notice that our predicted labels and the similar attributes are preferred. Now we show a UI to edit the face and car images. First, we show some edits on faces. Here is another example. Next, we show the results of the entangled and disentangled edits produced by our framework. Finally, we show some edits on cars. Notice we reconstruct cars from scrap and then do the corresponding edits. In conclusion, we present clip to StyleGAN as a framework to extract meaningful edit directions in StyleGAN latent space using clip. We introduce two technical blocks, a method to extract important directions in clip space and an algorithm to label arbitrary directions. After mapping these directions to StyleGAN latent space, they can be used to edit the existing photographs. In future, we would like to use our tool for an extensive semantic analysis of the clip latent space. Here is a slide about my research interests.
Thank you for watching.